Boys, today I'm going to show you how to run the most toxic scheme in Madden. The type of scheme that's going to leave your PlayStation inbox full of death threats and insults. And it all centers around the ability behind me, Vanguard. An underrated ability, it enables your blockers to summon the strength of a thousand waterfalls, decimating any defender in his path. It's like you injected one of your blockers with Compound V. You got Homelander on the field. And did I mention we're going to have two of them? I'm going to be running the 49ers offensive playbook, pounding the rock out of I formation. My primary play call is going to be stretch. The goal is to bring home a Super Bowl in this toxic scheme just to show you guys how overpowered it is. If you were to pair this with a fast X-Factor running back, you'll never have to pass the ball again. But in case you do want to pass the ball again, I'm giving away a free U-Trips mini scheme to anybody that messages me on Instagram. All you need to do is go to my Instagram link below, message me ebook, and I'll send you the free U Trip scheme. So, once again, all you need to do is message me ebook on Instagram, and I will send you the mini scheme entirely for free. You can find my Instagram below. Dak Prescott is going to be our quarterback today. We're going to have the, the typical seven AP stack on him. Got Omaha X Factor, Gift Wrapped, Hot Route Master, Gunslinger, and Sefi Lead. I think Dak Prescott's the best quarterback in the game right now. Our running back for this challenge is going to be Christian McCaffrey, the best running back in the league. The guy who just came up short in the Super Bowl. He's going to be the guy taking us to a Super Bowl today, hopefully. Uh, McCaffrey is not all the way upgraded, but he's got 99 speed, which is all we really need with human joystick. So he's going to be very elusive there and uh, obviously fast with 99 speed. Our wide receivers are not going to be seeing a lot of targets today because we're going to be running the ball a lot. All right, we've got Torrey Holt, Debo Samuel, and Marquez Valdez-Scantling. These guys all have 99 speed. They're all big. They're all strong. They're all burly. But the main focal point of this offense is going to be our vanguards. All right, if you guys don't know what vanguard is, it's an ability you can put on some big, hefty boys that makes them just annihilate defensive backs and even linebackers sometimes. Rob Gronkowski with vanguard starts on eight plays straight and makes you dominantly win impact blocks. So in the run game, when they go up to anybody, they just put them on their ass and they kick a little dirt on them. Rob Gronkowski has got 92 speed, so he's not a super fast athletic pass catcher that we usually have at tight end, but because we're running the ball so much, this is the guy we want. All right, we're also going to have the brand new AKA Heath. This is another big boy with Vanguard starting on. All right, and Heath Miller, you look at his run block, 89. So again, for a tight end, very good. At fullback, we're going to have Aiden Hutchinson, six foot seven, 93 speed. He's got 81 run block, which isn't as good as the other guys. However, he does get honorary linemen, so if there's any DBs in his way, Aiden Hutchinson is going to promptly handle them. So the run game is our focus on offense. We're trying to be toxic, we're trying to be annoying, and we're trying to win a Super Bowl. On defense, it's more the same, though. Dollar, we haven't changed anything. Ronnie Lott, uh, Brown, Herb Adderley, Chevarius Ward, Williams. The same guys we've been using for two months with the Super Bowl theme team. Uh, we're still using today because the Super Bowl theme team is the only good theme team in the game right now. And I don't see that changing anytime soon, honestly. First game on our Super Bowl run. The way this works, if you guys are new to this event, you got to win four straight. Games one through three are the road to the Super Bowl. Game four, you're going to be playing against another opponent in their Super Bowl as well. So game four is going to be by far the hardest. If you lose one game, your season's over. So we got to be perfect here today. Trey Calvert, thank you for the tier one sub, man. Oh, my God. Look at Vanguard. We don't even need to step on the field with our offense. Wait, maybe we do. I celebrated a little bit early, but Vanguard on the outside showing just how good it is, bro. I want you guys, I want you guys to watch on the right side of the screen. We juke to the outside, and I'm telling you, these defenders, these these tacklers, can't handle our big boys. So we're gonna be starting in Deuce Close. I love Deuce Close. My opponent is running a four down lineman set though. He got inside stuff on his outside defender, which I feel. I feel it isn't really where you want your inside stuff, typically. You'd rather have your inside stuff on the inside. It is counterintuitive. I know. This is the main formation we're looking for here, boys. I form wing. It's an RPO, so the adaptive AI is not going to lock in. And as you see, we got Gronk and Heath on the right side of the field. And I want you guys to just watch how dominant they are as they get out there in front of everybody and block. And we can just, we can just juke. We can just juke. We can just cut back. We got so much space, it doesn't even matter. Christian McCaffrey is tired. So we got our backup, Ronald Jones, in. The problem that I didn't realize, oh my God. Ronald Jones is like an 88 overall. So he shouldn't be getting too many touches, but when the blocking is that good, 
boys, it doesn't matter who's carrying the ball. You can drive a truck through that hole, just like my ex-wife, Sharon. Sharon. Sharon, listen, listen. Sharon wants me back, guys. Sharon wants me back. Uh, she's been hitting up my phone. It's, it's honestly kind of embarrassing, you know? Look at that! That's why Sharon wants me back! Because I clean clocks, buddy. It's what I do for a living, and it's a sponsor of today's stream. 1-800-CLOCK-CLEANERS. It's the premier clock... Oh, no. It's the premier clock cleaning service on the West Coast. Oh, no. He's concussed. Send him to the blue tent. Send him to the blue tent. So my opponent is under center as well. Probably going to be trying to do a similar type of uh, offense to me. Okay, the only problem is I I'm prepared for it. I know what's coming, and I I'm ready to get down and dirty in the trenches. Okay, buddy? Well, it was because he was on the sidelines. But they oh, he got me. He got my ass, Whoa. boys. That was a good play action. I was expecting the run. I was just talking about getting down and dirty in the trenches. I got a little ahead of myself there. Bit on the play action. That's okay. End of the first quarter. We're still up 14. Things are going well. The scheme is working according to the plan. And honestly, the physicality we're establishing in the front seven is translating to other aspects of our game, namely special teams. We got a huge return on the opening kickoff. We got a fumble six on his opening kickoff. All right, there's a play action again. I'm ready for it this time. He was trying to throw an interception. Safety was all over it. Oh, he's out of here. He's out of here. He's done. Game one done. On to game two. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to game two. My opponent, Steve Smith, senior, Herb Adderley, Ray Lewis. Our team's a little bit better. Our team's a little bit more intimidating. A little stronger. A little faster. You getting ready for the MLB runs? Oh, yeah. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be in. My goal for MLB this year is uh my goal this year for mlb is world series i gotta get world series and I, i'm not gonna lie boys i was thinking about doing i was thinking about doing no money spent but then i realized what is happening vanguard is the meta look at our special teams boys we are annihilating on special teams watch this okay left side of the field we got vanguard we got honorary linemen okay we're gonna flip our run to the left we're gonna motion over rob gronkowski we got a numbers advantage now and a girth advantage. Get outside, juke inside, juke back outside, pick up a block. Go, Christian! This is what we do! You're outmatched, brother man. Hard-nosed football. Not many people realize how sticky I can get, brother. Just when you think I can't get any more sticky, you see something like that. Suddenly, we're all covered in sploos, right? First drive on defense this game. Offense, I mean... Went exactly according to plan. And that's okay. We're going to play a little bit more conservatively on defense. Because here's the thing. When I'm playing so safe... Wait, why does it say my opponent is 6 for 6? Isn't he just touching the ball for the first time? That might be a part of the mode. A couple things I was going to say. I'm playing so... Oh, my God! Give me my football, buddy. You're so... I don't even know how he recovered that. Okay, I gotta stop talking because the game is punishing me for not being locked in. I was gonna say I'm playing very slow and methodical on offense because I'm running the ball quite a bit. That means on defense, I need to start playing a little bit more bend but don't break style, okay? I wanna piss off my opponent. I wanna make him impatient because I know how Madden players get. Nobody likes to wait. And you know what? That's... That's not bend, but don't break. That's bend and break. We bent and we broke. Bending me over? You, you're saying I'm getting bent over, Jules? Listen, buddy. We don't need to hear about your fantasies right now. When I preach bend, but don't break, people seem to forget during the bending portion of that philosophy. We bent. All right? We are bent. But we have not broken yet. We got 19 yards to go, and we will not break. We will not break. Not today. Second and 10. So one thing that's great about the situation right now is we have two D-line X-Factors. So if we are sending three like we are, that's us. We should get pressure. We should have great coverage, right? That should have been picked off. Now, I don't want to get ahead of myself. Let's calm down a little bit, okay? We've been playing good. I said we were going to play uh, methodical, slow, not aggressive. So that's what we're going to do. Let's, let's stay locked in. Third and 10. Frankly, he's in a worse position right now than I am. Never mind. He's, he's in a better position than I am. All right. First and goal. Still haven't broken, but boy, did we bend. We have been bending very hard. I know you're going to run stretch. Let me see the stretch. All over it. I ate that. All right, this is what we got on the field right here. Okay. I did not realize the outside guy was not manned up. There 
you going? Where you going? Where you going? Oh shit! Give me that, buddy. I, I, I tried to warn you. I tried to tell you about the bending and the lack of breaking. Boys, did we break? Did we break? I didn't. I didn't see any breakage. I didn't see any breaking. Right? We stayed true to our assignment. He tried to make something happen. He tried to force the ball. We didn't let that happen. Now let's take over on offense. The one problem we have right now that I want everybody to take note of is the clock. We only have one timeout because of this game mode. Uh, so we're gonna have to pass the ball. Even though even though we typically want to run the ball, I don't think we can run the ball too much in this situation. And you know what? We actually might be screwed here if I can't hike the ball in time. Hike it! All right, Dak, it's up to you. Dak, it's up to you! And Aiden Hutchinson! He was expecting the run. He bit on the play action because I haven't even passed once. But, buddy, I can throw the ball. Coach, you're going to get college football? Yes. Chat, listen, listen, listen. There's nothing I'm looking forward to more than NCAA coming out. And uh, I can, uh, Coach Mays can go to college, right? That's where I made my bread and butter, my name as a coach. I won natty after natty. And, uh, and you know, I had to get fired from my position because I might have been getting a little promiscuous. Promiscuous. I don't know where that lisp came from. I was maybe getting a little promiscuous with some members of the cheer team. Okay. They didn't like that as the head coach. So I, I moved in and took my talents to the NFL, uh, which is why I'm here right now. Fun fact, that's also why my ex-wife Sharon left me and took the kids. That bitch. All right, boys. Game three. We are one game out of the Super Bowl. Currently 2-0, and and we've been playing dominantly. Our scheme has not failed us. My opponent has Doug Williams, Jair, and Ray Lewis, a very similar team we just saw in the last game. Can you please humble Buster Douglas, a.k.a. Electro? He says he's unbeatable. I, I think I think you guys have all seen the last two times I've played Electro. We all know what happens when I play Electro, okay? I'm 4-1 and one against him now. Okay, he did win the first game we ever played. First game we ever played. He won. Yeah, I'll give it to him. I haven't lost since. Electro knows who's daddy, all right? And, and if you go ask Electro who's daddy, he'll tell you. All right, so I'm not too worried about needing to blitz as long as these guys are active. And cover four is pretty good run defense. Nice play action from my opponent. There we go, boys. That's just phenomenal defense. I'm surprised he even got that pass off, if we're being honest. Turn on some zone drops here. We're going to have 25-yard flats, zero-yard curl flats. All right, we're going to be audibling into a cover four, and we're probably going to change it to some variation of a cover six. This is what our defense looks like right here. It is a cover defense. There is going to be on the crosser. I'm on it! Donald Parham is six foot eight, you know? He's six foot eight. Not the guy I would try to throw over his head. You know, not the guy who tried to throw over his head. Now let's go ground and pound this football. All right, boys, new formation, new me. We're going to motion out Aiden Hutchinson. Remember, he does have uh, honorary linemen. Give me that. Give me those ankles, baby boy. And you just got pushed to the dirt. My God. All right, boys, we're going to stretch right, right here. I ideally would have another Vanguard out here. Honestly, I probably should make a sub. But it looks like the run blocking is just so money, it doesn't even matter. Give me the touchdown. Come on. Next formation we're going to is slot close. Okay, so we're gonna have, uh, we're gonna change Heath to our fullback, and we're gonna put Hutchinson on the outside. Okay, so this is what it's gonna look like in the run game. We're either gonna be able to run stretch right or stretch left. I'm gonna go stretch left this time. Our two guys out there should absolutely dominate. Looks like they did. That was just an easy run. I, I really feel like I'm not even having to try very hard, just because this scheme is just so. So much more than any online player can handle. What are we naming this scheme? Is this is this the new red scorpion? Is this the, the orange scorpion? All right, boys, I'm expecting a run out to the right. I am not going to be uh, not pinching my line. He didn't run it. I don't know where he's going. I don't know where he's going. Ain't nothing open, Buster. Nothing's open. Is this a screen? Go make a tackle. Go make a tackle! All right, boys, end of the first quarter, things have been going well. Defense has been suffocating. Offense has been dominant. We're up 7-0, end of the first. All right, you know these quarters are shorter, but if things continue, my opponent is slowly going to feel the life slip away. Let's give him a cover two double Mabel A-gap screamer. All right, can he handle the cover two double Mabel A-gap screamer? He does not want to snap the ball. He's taking his sweet time at the line, making a million audibles. Yo! How'd he catch that? Doesn't matter, fourth down, lock in right now. We're running man coverage. I don't give a shoot. Single back wing pair. I don't like this. I don't like this. All right, I got a user. The middle tight end. Running back is going to be naked. Okay. I am now... You No, I'm going to be usering the running back. 
Running backs. Not today, buddy. You are scared. That's the sign of somebody who's terrified of the blitz. They see everybody coming in. They try to get off the ball a little bit too fast. And, and at the end of the day, everybody knows I pay off the refs. Everybody knows that. So my players know they can be a little more physical than they should be on fourth. They're not going to call shit on us. WPI. So far, so good. Let's run the stretch out wide. Pick up a blocker seven. Oh, my God. Are you guys seeing the type of physicality we're bringing to the football field right now? I want everybody to watch that closely on the outside, what our Vanguard just did. Decleated CTE protocol immediately. I love what we're seeing to the right. I love what we're seeing to the right. Vanguard is no longer activated, but I love what we're seeing to the right side of the field. We're in motion over an extra blocker. We got a numbers advantage out here. We should be able to get to the outside. That's fine. That's fine. We'll take positive yardage. All right. Third and three, we'll take positive yardage. I'm going to come out in the same formation. He's going to assume I'm running the ball again. We're running bench. First read is going to be the out route. If it's not there, I am looking to one of the corner routes. There's the out route. It's too easy, boys. Too easy. You establish the physical presence in the front seven, and now your opponent can't think of anything else. I I'm in his head. With 109 left in the half, he's going to be desperate. And he's going to be looking for a quick score. We're not going to give it to him, all right? We're going to run that cover two, double Mabel, A-gap, screamer bullshit. Ain't nothing open, Buster. Ain't nothing open. And that's what I meant when I said defense is suffocating. Mr. Monday night, we've allowed negative six total yards. Negative six this is what we got on the field right here. A cover six. Left side is Mabel. We got a hard flat on the right. Uh, it's going to be playing at zero yards, Okay. If he has a streak from the outside receiver, Jerry Rice, we might have some problems, but I don't think he's going to see that. He, he ain't seeing shit, boys. He might as well be Stevie Wonder out there because he ain't seeing it. All right, 21 zip, not even halftime. We haven't even made it to halftime yet. I mean, this is just amazing defense. I know I know this. the, the point of this is to talk about the offense. Hey, but this dollar defense, it doesn't get better than that. Maze Island, you can learn how to run that, dude. For everybody wondering, my defensive ebook is going to be up later this week. Okay, I'm launching my tip website. It's going to have an updated version of my offensive ebook. It's going to have a 6 1 defensive ebook. It's going to have a general tip section. It's going to have a uh, uh, weekly coaching call section and a dollar ebook as well. So if anybody's wondering, how, how, do I, how do I run that offense? How do you run that defense? How do you do that? Well, on Thursday, Thursday, you'll be able to learn, boys. We're going to sit in cover two press again because it's a little bit more conservative. We're actually going to turn it into a variation of a cover three. Almost got the pick there. Almost got the pick there. 24 seconds, one timeout. I'm not too worried about it. We're going to get a cover four. I don't even know if he realizes that the clock is running out on him. So we're running a cover four now. We got three D linemen X factors. Again, more conservative of a play call. And he's going to have to throw something up like that. Not a problem. 21 zip at half. 21 zip at half. I think we're headed to the Super Bowl. So he hasn't really been able to beat this defense at all, right? Just rushing four, double Mabel, cover two up top. That's all it is. Good user over the middle. And again, P.I. ain't getting called, buddy. I pay the refs. They're on my payroll. Running a cover three. We got the A gap coming in hot. I'm going to be using the right side seam. My primary focus here is getting Chanel over to the right side. We got it. You can't throw that, buddy. We got tall men out there. Very tall men that are looking to get their hands on a football. Fourth and 10, he's in single back wing pair. All right, this is not the play call for fourth and 10. I don't care what it is, because I don't think you're running it. In fact, I'm pass committing. So there's no point in you doing that. And that's just not open. The domination continues, boys. The domination continues. And I got to say, this is why it's good to be running a scheme like this, because when you are up, this much? I mean, how is my opponent going to come back? Unless I fumble literally four times in a row, but I just don't think that's happening. I just don't think I'm going to fumble four times in a row. In fact, I don't think I'm going to fumble at all. I think I'm going to go up 28-0 and hopefully he quits out. Because this one's over, boys. I'm feeling good, man. I'm feeling really good. McCaffrey just, just can't be touched right now. This team versus the Steelers is not hard. Hey, buddy, this is Ultimate Team. He just chose to wear the Steelers jerseys. You don't even own this game. You're weird. 
All right, boys, cover four again. We got our, our flats at 25, so, I mean, there shouldn't be any cor corner outs or anything. Backside in. I'm all over it. He tried to throw it. Again, the defense just suffocating him. Can't get a stop on offense. I, th I, think, I think this one's over. Can't go check my DMs on another platform or anything, so if you want to say something in the chat, say something in the chat. Or if you want me to check my DMs after the stream, let me know I can check my DMs after the stream, but it's not like I can just, you know, go check my, like, Instagram DMs in the middle of the stream, you know? Oh, my God. I feel bad for this guy. I, I I feel guilty. I feel a little guilty. A little guilty. All right, so we had a quarter on the right side, inside third, zero yard curl flats. I don't know where bro is going. There ain't nothing open. That's 100% the real Caleb Williams in my chat. I know, I know. Trust me, I know. Hey, Caleb, if you want to go play for the Raiders, I would welcome you on that team. Open arms. This is a loop. There ain't no Caleb comment. See, this is... Why do I... Okay, okay. I'm, I'm, I'm not yelling. I'm going to explain because I think maybe, yeah. I don't want to yell at somebody who's maybe uh, a little slower than others. Maybe not as sharp. Okay, I'm, I'm actually streaming other places. Okay, I'm streaming, I'm streaming on Twitch, which is where the real Caleb Williams is. Okay? That was the final straw. That pick, that interception was, was it. That, that was the last... That was the last... That was it. Not the 35 points before that. That one. All right, boys. We have taken our toxic scheme, and we have taken it all the way to the Super Bowl. Tay Fit is our opponent in the throwback Buccaneers uniforms. We got the Niners, and we're going to try to do today what they fell short of just a few weeks ago against the Chiefs. I'm going to bring a ring to San Francisco and Christian McCaffrey because God knows he deserves it. All right, boys. Let's do it. This is the big one. This is the big game. All right, it's my opponent's Super Bowl. It's my Super Bowl. This is the big game. All right, boys, we're going to be running uh, a cover four. He's probably going to be running stretch RPO. Yep, there it is. There it is. There it is. There it is. And we stuffed it. All right, if we can keep doing that. How did I already lose my timeout? I did oh, I called the time. I just called the timeout. I'm a dumbass. All right, my opponent flips his bunch. That's how you know he's a demon. If he flips the bunch, he's an animal. Okay, he didn't flip it. He's not that much of an animal. Oh, would have been amazing to start off our Super Bowl with an interception, but we got a healthy taste of bunch verticals. All right, so first play, we get single back wing slot, RPO stretch. Second play, gun bunch verticals. This guy's running quite literally the most meta scheme you could, and now it's trips tight end. Wow. Oh my God, it's going to be another RPO. I guarantee it. Got to move Chanel over here. There's the RPO. Oh no, almost. That was a good read. That was a good read. All right, this is going to be a problem. This uh, Trips Tight End Strong has a read RPO, which is a lot harder to stop than a normal RPO. So I'm guessing bunch verticals again. All right, we're going to be helping on the left side with our user. We got the tight end manned up on that wheel route. And we got a Mabel coverage out to the left side. He can throw that all day. I don't care. I just showed you my defense. I had a 25-yard flat, buddy. And you know what? As much as I want to run the ball and pound that rock, in the Super Bowl, I got to do what's best for my team, and that's take the touchdown. Herb Adderley into the end zone. And boys, I can smell the Super Bowl. He got spooked. He got spooked, and he threw it a little too early. Herb was right there waiting. He was right there waiting for it. All right, so we know what's coming here, boys. It's going to be the RPO, okay? RPO stretch. That's why we're manning up the slot receiver on the left. There it is. And if he wants to keep just, again, living and dying by this play, I have a whole video breaking down this scheme on my channel. So I already know what to expect here, okay? You're going to have to have a little bit more in the tank other than the RPO stretch. And in fact, good good read. That's a great read. It's a great read. Don't give him the first. Don't give him. Got to be a little stronger there. Don't give him the first. All right, boys, we are getting into a cover four. Change it. We audibled it around to a cover six. We're going to be helping any intermediate flat to the left side of the field. We got to go. So any corner route, any crosser, he can tap the zig. Good read again. Running back's a problem. He's running mesh spot, and he is really abusing this running back route. It's good, good read by him. See what happens when I lock in, boys. I just, I just hit up one time. Fuck! I got way too overconfident. I thought I was about to get the craziest clip of all time. That's on me, chat. That's on me. I mean, look, I get the beautiful pick. I didn't see his guy there. He blended into my pants. All right? You guys, you guys got to hear me out. Okay? He blended. He blent into my pants. 
okay? Look at the field, okay? His jerseys are orange. My pants are like goldish orange. He blended into the pantalones, and I didn't see him. I thought I was gonna catch it, pitch it, take it for seven. Clearly not what happened. Clearly not what happened. That's on me. That's on me, chat. We'll figure it out. Chat, this is what I failed to understand about this game. I have a zero yard flat. He throws a flat. Where's my defender going? Chat, look at this. Where's my flat going? I have a flat. He outruns the, the running back to the flat. All right, it's gonna be a tough decision between the running back. I, I, he threw the running back. You know what? He's looking pretty good on O. I'm, I'm kind of regretting the decision to pitch that ball on the interception. I'm kind of regretting it. All right, we're about to hit the two minute warning, but he's driving and I, I can only blame myself. Get up in there, please. Boys, we got a lot of men there and you just got... Calm down, everybody calm down. Everybody chill the fuck out. No need to raise our voice, no need to get mad, all right? We already got a stop on the opening drive and we already got two stops, in fact. It was a boneheaded error by somebody trying to be a hero, right? Y'all know the story of Icarus. He flew too close to the sun. What happened? The wax melted, he died. He, he fucking died. I don't want to die like Icarus, chat. All right, so let's wake up. Let's understand that this is a big game and we cannot be making stupid mistakes. Left side of the field is where we're looking. He's in 6-1, okay? He's in 6-1. We got some vanguards out there. What? Why did McCaffrey just like run into an invisible force field? He just stopped. We had so much life there, boys. So much space. McCaffrey just, just, hey, hey. Wake up, McCaff. All right, this can't be the second Super Bowl. You choking. Let's give him a little wang for his wang. A little wang for the wang. Give him a little wang for the wang. You don't want the wang for the wang. I got the wang and a wang. Oh, we almost got out of there. Oh, we almost got out of there. But I just realized something, chat. Uh, we only got a minute and no timeouts. All right, we got we got one or two runs left in us. We got one or two runs left in us, and then uh, and then we're gonna have to start passing a little bit because we only got 55 seconds. So hopefully we can get out of bounds here. His user has been really good. We're gonna get on the ball and spike it. Get on the ball and spike it. Get on the ball and spike it. Might have to pass. I'm not gonna lie, chat. I don't really know what to do to pass out of the, the Niners playbook. Try to make something happen here. All right, so we are expecting some variation of a, of a blitz. Spike it, spike it! On the ball, spike it! We need at least three. We need at least three. I'm fucked, I'm fucked. On the ball! Get on the ball, spike it! Can I kick from here? Can't kick a 62? News to me. Am I on the other, am I on the other side of the 50? How can I not kick this? I can kick that! That's heart! Way to make it happen, Dak! Everybody, everybody quiet, all right? We can't fuck this up. Everybody quiet, everybody quiet. Everybody quiet, everybody quiet. Everybody quiet. Shh. What did I do? I didn't know it was fourth. I blame the sideline, all right? Sideline staff. Uh, yeah, sideline staff got to be better than that, guys. All right, I, I got my hands full over here coaching, and you guys are fucking, you know, what are you guys doing? Jerking off over near the blue tent? Like, what are we doing in the blue tent? Get out of the blue tent! It was fourth down! Nobody told me! Not my fault! We got no staff over here on these sidelines. They're all in the blue tent. What are we doing in the blue tent? What's going on in the blue tent? And what the hell is this? This is the one thing I don't, this is the one thing I don't, know about this mode why in the world does the team that receives also receive in the second half it's just what are we doing why don't i get the ball right now he started with the football but i took it back because it's my super bowl to win what are you doing on my field get out of here and that hit sticks brought to you by the sponsor of today's stream 1-800 clock cleaner you call us we clean your clock the premier clock cleaning service on the west coast of the United States, located on the sunny shores of Mays Island. Once again, that's 1-800-CLOCK-CLEANERS. You call us, we clean your clock. 
We're going to the left here. How? No words. No words for that. I'm just going to let that one go. How? No words. No words. No words. No words. I need Josh Allen to be sealed. I need Josh Allen to be sealed. That is not sealed. That is probably the opposite of sealed, actually. A lot of people don't realize what I'm about to do. It's about to be nasty. No, I didn't mean to hike the ball. Yes, I did. I meant to hike the ball. I did. I meant to, and in fact, it went so well. Keith went so well. Good job, man. I mean, that's just, that's just amazing. Keith, I love you, buddy. That's why you don't shade down your man coverage. Hey, for anybody who's wondering why that happened, some people might say, oh, that was lucky. But listen, I just put my sack on Lil Bro's dome because he tried to shade underneath in man coverage and he wasn't pressed. If you have a shaded down man coverage assignment coming from the safety position, they try to get in the back pocket and they run way too far down, okay? So it's just a mistake on my opponent's end. It's not luck. I snapped the ball a little quicker than he's probably expecting, all right? That's what happened. That's what happened. He wasn't ready, I was. Give me another fumble. Give me another fumble. I'm stripping him. Take him to the strip club. Take him to the strip club, baby. All right, boys, we got, uh, we got man coverage on the running back and tight end. These guys are the two hardest positions to cover out a bunch, in my opinion. And so we got a man up to help out, and I got to help with 0 and 18 right over the middle. That's so annoying! Good dot, though. That was a really good dot by my opponent. We got to get better defense than that. You guys remember at the beginning of the game, he, he threw an interception in this same type of defense, all right? Uh, it was actually, I think, the same type of play. He motioned over the running back just like that. Tried to throw the corner out too early and went straight to Herb Adderley on the outside. We're expecting that again. What did I just say? That's Herb Adderley! I read him like a book, okay? I got a 12th grade reading level, yeah. Yeah, I can read Harry Potter. And I can read your offensive playbook too, buddy. I'm giving him the same defense. Again, I'm helping on that left side primarily. That's my focus. We got two D-line X-Factors. He doesn't have any secure protectors, so our, our three-man pass rush should do an okay job of getting in there. All right, we just got to make sure that there's no one wide open. Running back, running back, running back. He's manned up. Don't know how he caught it. All right, we got a cover six defense. Mabel coverage on the right. Left side, we only have a zero-yard flat. We're all, oh my God, we're not all over that. That was a good dot right between defenders, man. I really thought we were all over that. Such good defense. I mean, that's just insanity. That's just the craziest thing I've ever seen in my life. That's probably going to take us to the end of the third. Uh, I thought that was really good defense. Fourth quarter, boys. Put your fours in the chat. The Super Bowl depends on it. Put your fours in the chat. Where are you running, Buster Douglas? We got no one out there. We got, we got no one out there. No heart, no fight, right? We try to live and die by the physicality, by the run game. And, uh, and boys, we, we died right there. Tie game. It's time to lock in, get our three points, and win this game. That's what, that's what it's time for. Lock in, get our three points, win the game. He's kicking an onside kick. That's insanity. I'm not even going to get an onside recovery because I'm going to get this with Heath. Give it to me! Boom! Field goal range already! I didn't want the first. I didn't want the first, all right? We're going to need as much field as possible if we're going to chew down this clock, okay? You guys got to listen to me. You got to believe me, all right? Believe in coach. I would never lead you astray. We're going to try to get Hutchinson right up that A-gap. But not before we let the clock get below the 30-second mark because we're going to take this next one all the way down to the two-minute. All the way down. Ready? Action. Hutchinson, fight. Fight for me, Hutch. Take it to the two. I'm going to get on the ball. He's going to th think think we're hurrying up. I'm not hurrying up. I'm taking my time. I'm taking my time. I'm taking my time. I'm breathing. I'm, I'm, I'm chilling tonight, boys. All right, boys. He's got three timeouts. So realistically, we're probably going to need two different first downs. So I cannot get a first down right now, even if it's there. Even if it's there, I can't get the first down. I got to go down. I got to go down. I got to waste more clock. No timeouts been called yet. No timeouts been called yet. Part of me is like, hey. We can throw this backside. We can throw the RPO. But do we want to? We don't want to. 
We don't want to throw it. We absolutely do not want to throw it. There's a first time out for my opponent. On the ball, on the ball, on the ball. Before he calls timeout, that's fine. We need a first down, chat. All right, we're going to be motioning out Hutch. We're going to try to get a little bit more space to the outside. Come on. McCaffrey, you're up, buddy. What the hell is that? Get on the ball. He's not calling a timeout. He's saving it, trying to ice me. I'm taking this down, and guess what, boys? We're not passing. I'm going to make him use that timeout. All right. I like our number advantage here, and, and the thing is, if we do end up getting a first down, right? If we do end up getting a first down, that game is over. It's okay, on the ball, before he calls timeout. That's okay. That's okay. Okay, our defense has gotten us here. I'm kicking three. I'm kicking three, and I'm relying on the D. He got no timeouts. Oh, shit. Don't block it. Oh, he almost got it. He's got no timeouts, chat. He's got less than 40 seconds. I want to see him return this. I want to get him at the 20. I want to get him at the 20. I want him to waste five seconds. Take it out, buddy. I knew you were scared. I know you didn't want it. Whoa. Whoa. Uh, what? How does he catch that? Donald Parm is six foot eight. What is happening? Bro, what is actually happening? I don't know how he caught that. How, how did they give him a catch on that? Donald Parham is six foot eight. I have base alignment on also. Why are my guys running over to the wrong side of the field? It all comes down to this, Chet. 13 seconds. He's got no timeouts. This is crazy aggressive, but we're doing what we need to do. Yard, that was a 30-yard flat. I don't know how a corner got over the top of his head. That was a 30-yard flat. I'm disappointed, but uh, looks like he's going for it, boys. I am very tempted right now to send a blitz. I know that's crazy, but I if we get a sack... Don't swat it! What are you doing? Donald Parham! That's the second time he's thrown it right at you, and you have fucked it up both times! I got nothing to say. I, I played perfect defense. Got no words for that one. I got no words for that one, Donald Parham. Second time that's happened on that drive, by the way. On that drive, six foot eight tight end. Mossed, nuts to the face, twice. Parham is so bad. I'm losing it. Boys, I think we're going overtime, all right? Let's lock it in. I, I am incredibly disappointed with Donald Parham Jr. Uh, that guy single-handedly put us in this position. So uh, let's see, let's see how we go. We're gonna call heads here. We win the toss. Guess what? I am kicking. See this day. This is you know what the crazy part is, guys. This is how this is the audacity of people on TikTok. Bro, if you take the ball, you win. If you score, the fuck are you doing? You know the rules changed, right? The rules changed in the NFL. RPO, RPO, RPO. Oh, I was there. Oh no. I was there, dude. My user was so close. Great defense, boys. Third and nine. We can find a way to get off the field right now. We're gonna be okay. Oh no, where are we? Oh! Flat wasn't there, that's okay. I, I had my zone drops on, that was my fault. We're gonna cover four, we got double Mabel coverage out on the outside. I hit my own guy off it. Oh, we tried to strip him. All right, hey, bend but don't break, boys. He's the 19, this is the hardest spot on the field to score. Maybe we get it done, huh? He's gonna run the RPO. If we were there, gave him the first, that's okay. It's fine, whatever. Not even mad. Not even that mad, dude. I'm only like a little pissed. He loves this RPO. Oh! We're getting real close. Oh. Some... I gotta stop yelling at my players. They don't want to play for a coach that's angry. The amount of interceptions that have just smacked us in the hands, you know? I don't know what it's gonna take. I don't know what it's gonna take. Such 
such a hot dot, dude. Can't be mad at it. That's a good laser beam. Good dot, man. Good dot. I don't know where our zone drops were at. I had a, I had a 15 yard zone drop. That's a good dot over his head, though. We're gonna have to get two. I mean, the amount of interceptions we've dropped on this game has been wild. It's also my fault for pitching the ball to him on one of our interceptions. I just gave him the ball back. That was on me. Now we gotta earn it. Now we gotta earn it. I don't understand why we can't block these guys. We're gonna have to get creative. And that means passing the ball sometimes to Robert Gronkowski. That's what it means sometimes, all right? That's what it means. And everybody's worried about the clock. NFL rules say if the offense's first drive is still going on, which it is my first, which it is my first drive, then the clock does not matter, okay? Good hands, McCaffrey. Good fucking hands, buddy. On the ball, we're nine for nine with Dak. We block McCaffrey this time. Try to throw that corner out. It looked like it was there to me. I know that was man coverage. I think the corner out was there. I have no idea what to call, guys. I feel like I have to pass. The run game has not been working. Let's try this. I've never ran this play in my fucking life. Let's give it a try. Good catch, Gronk! Good catch, buddy! He's in dollar now. He got out, he got out of 6-1. He's in dollar. Can we run it against dollar, chat? We, our vanguards are gone. We know where he's going. Cut it back. 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 Come on, McCaffrey. Go! 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 It's a two-point conversion! And the ring's ours! We need two! We win! I didn't throw that RPO once! All game! And ladies and gentlemen, I want you to know, everybody that called me an imbecile, a fool, a downright bonehead, for choosing to defer in overtime. This is exactly what the 49ers should have done because I saw what my opponent did. He got seven. I knew I had four downs at my disposal. I knew I had to go for two. There was no decision to be made because the game made the decision for me. And because of that, I win the Super Bowl and my opponent doesn't. Kyle Shanahan, take notes, buddy.